item that I want. <laughs> way, way at the bottom. <laughs> oh, I got it. It's so wet. I knew this would happen, sleeping out on the beach, but gonna have some drying out to do later. Just missed it, these two were fighting. I got up early this morning because this river coming up called the New River, which is one of the tidal consideration ones, uh, so I'm trying to make low tide. Um, but I can't actually figure out where it is um, because it basically parallels the beach for miles and miles right next to the sand and then it crosses over at some point and my maps say one thing and then the satellite image says another thing and then the other satellite image that has this data from a different day says a different thing. So really it's just going to kind of depend where the water feels like going across the sand. Hopefully it's soon, because I've timed the tides for soon. Is this it? Did the water seep through from the other side and the tide is just low enough that there's nothing to cross? I have no idea. I certainly never see the sand look like this. I think I am passing over the new river crossing. Dry crossing. It's not really any good places to cross here. I mean, this is pretty much one of the wider sections. Fortunately, I've met a new friend, uh, and she's going, we're going to go back to her place, and she'll uh, drive me around this because it looks not fun to cross. My friend um, that I made on this trail is going to go bring me a canoe so that I can get across this part, and then she'll drive me around the road so I don't have to wade through the big new river. I've had a, a fairly eventful day since I last was filming things. Um, like when I got to the river, the new river, which was at a different location, it changed in January with the king tides. So that's why all the maps were so confused. Literally comes out at a completely different spot now. Um, but I had gotten to there um, with my new friend that we just met on the beach and we're walking and talking together and got there, scoped it out. It didn't seem that fun to cross. <laughs> honestly and she said oh well why don't you just walk back with me and come to my house and then I'll I'll drive you around oh that sounds pretty good so um so we headed back up to the beach and we still had to cross that river but she has a kayak and a canoe so uh she kayaked over and then canoed back but because she was only one the wind took the canoe much further south and so I was wading out into the reeds to get to the canoe where she was and I didn't realize that it was full of muck, like schluckety muck. And um, I was stepped out there and my feet got so sunk in, I didn't realize it, and I tried to step backwards to escape from it and I fell over. <laughs> um, slowly, gently, not fully in to the water, but definitely like my, my lower half and pack was wet. Uh, <laughs> and then managed to get the canoe over and at this point I had sunk to about shin deep in this vegetative muck that I couldn't, I could not extract myself from it. I mean it had a tight hold on my foot and shoe. It wasn't until I like leveraged myself on the canoe that I could get out of it with keeping my shoe because I need those for hiking. And so then we arrived at the other side of the bank, finally, both a little, a little like wetter, wetter and dirtier than we had anticipated. 
and, um, and then she invited me to her house and let me take a shower and we had lunch together and I had a really nice chat with her and her husband. Just lovely people, had a great time. Um, anyway, then I was looking at my maps and I was trying to get to Cape Blanco by tonight and I realized that the Sixes River is right before and I thought that wasn't for another couple days for some reason. And that's one of the ones you also have to cross at low tide, which it was not any longer. Um, and so my new friend, she had already offered to take me all the way to Cape Blanco. And I really wasn't feeling a river ford. So I took her up on it. She drove me all the way to Cape Blanco. So I skipped, I don't know how many miles, but it's definitely not a through hike any longer. But I don't regret it because I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> Now I'm all settled in at the Cape Blanco campground and I'm hiking back out just to see what I can see of the trail that I skipped to see how far north I, I go. It's pretty, the weather is pretty uh, weathery today. decided I didn't feel like crossing today. It's fast, but it looks um, not too deep, so I definitely could have done it. I was um, leaning back against the wind to see if it could hold me up. Just, you know, some fun shenanigans. And this really nice couple in a pickup truck saw me and were like, hey, do you need a ride? <laughs> so they drove me into the campground. <laughs> this one's got the really nice charging food storage lockers.